Dash Builder is a web application that allows users, business users, to create dashboards, and it is part of Business Central. So if you are uh, working with JBPM and you see any chart inside the web application called Business Central, that chart comes actually from Dash Builder. It's integrated inside Business Central. But we also can run, can run Dash Builder separately using another web application that I will show today. When you access the content manager, you can create pages and each page uh, is composed of this structure, which is based on rows and columns. And the layout manager is the tool behind uh, this page editor here. So when you are editing a page, you can add rows, different kind of components that can be placed inside the page. So the first one are the static components that makes no use of data. For example, HTML, you can place a piece of HTML inside your page and it will not use data set at all. We can also have one page embedded, embedded in other pages using navigation components. So you can um, have reusable pages inside another page. Then we have dynamic components that where the visualization will change according to the data set. So dynamic components are tied to a data set. And finally, we have external components that can be static or dynamic, but important to say that we build these components. So you can um, use your CSS, JavaScript, React uh, abilities to create your own components and then bring to inside your page. And when we use external components, we are free to use any kind of technology. So, page that I created, let's create a new one. Here's the new page. As I said, we have static components. I can drag here static components, and it does not ask for data. That's because it's just a piece of HTML that we can place on the page. So, for example, Use this visual editor to create a, a component that contains only HTML. We can preview what is done and we can click on it. You see on the right side that it selected the components and we can change some properties. So for, I like I like this tab list. It's other way to navigate. Default white in front. I think I, I probably messed with this page and forgot. But yeah, these are the navigation components. Let me save the page. Remove the navigation. And as I said, we have also dynamic components that needs data to run. So let me drag here a bar chart. I'm grabbing from the left a bar chart. I add it to another row. I can select. Yes, yeah, some, some, I have a lot of, of data, so. And I can edit everything about the data when I'm, I'm putting the display here. So the display is just uh, any way to visualize the data. And when I am selecting the data for this display, I can modify how it looks like on the right side. Please do it because it's not looking very well. And then I can change the representation. I can slice the, the data set differently here. So I am using this Disney movie data set, but I could, uh, I'm summing out the total gross for each category or each genre. But I could, for example, count um, the, the titles by genre. So here now I will have the sum of all the movies by genre, grouped by genre. And I can also, come here and then, for example, filter uh, any way I want to what I just said about the same data set with different, different dimensions. So I have here the, the same data set moves, Disney moves, where I have a list of all the Disney moves. So I add all the moves here. It's the same data set with different uh, report components. So uh, here I have the share by January, 
and I can here I count the moves by year. So you can see that in 1995 was the year that Disney most released moves. I think King Lion was released this year or here, I don't know. And then we have here the total uh, gross for each January. 